This video is intended to show you how to use Apple's Disk Utility. It comes with the Macintosh operating system uh, 10. Um, the hard drive must be selected. Uh, notice the options first aid, erase, partition, raid, restore. We want to make sure we're on first aid. Uh, we also want to look at show details. That way we get an adequate amount of information about the drive. Verify disk permissions and repair disk permissions are used to repair the, the hard drive information uh, as far as permissions to be able to read and write to files. Verify disk and the repair disk options are used for for actually repair of the hard drive's directory structure. So uh, what we have to do is click on verify uh, disk to first fix the directory structure. You should always do this first before you do anything else with a hard drive. Repair the directory first before doing any major alterations of files, moving of files, things of this nature. It's a good safety feature uh, and a good, uh, good uh, safety net to keep you from having further problems. I've seen people go in and defragment a hard drive or copy and move files around and then they do the, uh, the directory repair and the directory repair ends up having problems because files have been moved and uh, changed as far as position and uh, the user a lot of times ends up losing data. So whether it's on a PC, on the Mac, on a, uh, on a Unix box, uh, Linux box, whatever, make sure you fix the directory structure on the hard drive first. That should be your first priority. Uh, once the verification completes, we will then um, go ahead and uh, fix the disk permissions. The reason we do it in this manner is because we want to make sure the directory is okay before we start changing uh, information on the files within that directory. And uh, that way the files and folders don't get corrupted, messed up, uh, or have other problems later on down the road. Uh, before doing this type of stuff, you should always back up your hard drive. Uh, at the very least, back up your data. Okay, it looks like it completed. Um, so we look here, we have um, various different things that have been tested. Looks like they're all okay. Because down at the bottom of the test, we have the volume Macintosh hard drive appears to be okay. Now we will go ahead and click on the repair disk permissions simply because the verified disk permissions, uh, it, it does the same sort of things that the repair does. And then uh, you have to repair, when you repair, it's going to verify it again. I'm working with a fairly new drive, it's about two months old, and therefore since the drive is only a couple months old, I really want to uh, just go ahead and do the, the uh, permission repair. Uh, this will take a little longer than the verify disk uh, option did, mainly because instead of looking at the overall disk structure, we're now looking at individual files and folders. Also permissions uh, are very critical uh, in any Unix environment and uh, since the Macintosh has a BSD Unix kernel you must be careful about file permissions being accurate All, uh, mainly because of the security for the the operating system uh, operates around that and because of that it can be catastrophic for you uh, allow if, if the permissions are messed up and you can't suddenly open move copy uh, delete any of your files that you have created. Uh, this can happen, but that's why you are doing the preventive maintenance. Uh, like I say, first you do the verify of the disk, then you go ahead and repair the permissions. is one of those cases where patience is a virtue. Uh, always when working with uh, hard drives, especially if you're going to do any procedure that takes a while, um, whether it's doing something like we're doing right now, or whether you're, you're actually working on uh, uh, defragmenting uh, a hard drive or, or anything of that nature, these items take a while. So plan ahead, give yourself some time. Don't try to do a rush job. Um, Personally, what I do a lot of times whenever I'm uh, doing things like virus scanning a hard drive or anything like that, I'll do it late at night. 
uh, start the computer, uh, start the scan, and then leave. And go on to bed and get up in the morning and it should be done. Um, so some of these, these items where you don't have to interact with it immediately, uh, it's quicker and better to do that way. This is one of those that even with a 300 gig drive, it's pretty quick. I mean, we can do this in under under 10 minutes, so that's, that's pretty good uh, with 300 gigs. Now, if you get to a 500 gig drive, it will take over 10 minutes uh, because I have a 500 gig drive that uh, takes well over 10. Um, it has a lot more files on it and a lot more folders than this one. Uh, I've been using it a lot longer, too. Looks like it's now looking through here, uh, actually telling us what the permissions look like. Uh, it's now repairing them. Um, this estimate always is higher than it should be. It's saying four minutes, three minutes. It'll get down as low as one minute very quickly. The thing is that what it, the, that the computer is doing is it's making a pretty good estimate based upon what it's seen. But the thing is that we don't have that many errors on this drive. We've got a few permissions that are off, but I've seen uh, computers that the permission repair takes much, much longer on a much, much smaller drive. So um, this drive is in very bad shape, but then again, it's only a couple of months old. Hence the reason we can do the permission repair without even doing the verify first. And we're almost done. And that completes the permission repair. We verified the disk. We've repaired the permissions. Uh, you have some warnings there, but uh, those are those are minor warnings. They're not really big deals. Um, as long as the permission repair is complete, we're okay. And uh, I want to thank you for your time. Come see us at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde crabby.